favor, you mock-minded fool! That was our chance to recover the stone without letting of blood. I will not betray Giedrich. That is not for you to decide. My promises are my own, and they are ironclad. Your first oath is to your Jarl, Sigurd Jarl, your brother and master. <clears throat> Stay out of this. Enough! If it wasn't clear why Sigurd is in command, it is now. Your temper runs too hot, Wolfkist. You want to settle things with Basim, you call a home gang. Else you follow me. You listen to me, you do as I ask. Edwin will flee to her castle. You want your stone? It will be there. Gidrich's pathetic army will never breach the walls. We could have first taken the stone, then laid siege. That was always our plan, Eivor. I had no intention of betraying Gidrich. It was your plan all along? Yet you saw fit to keep me guessing through your fits of madness. You are not always to be trusted. Your passions overcome you. I know that. My father knew that. Your father knew it. Sit here and bemoan your fate, brother. I have a promise to keep, and I mean to. You think too much of yourself, Eivor. You do not have the wisdom of Odin. Come, Basim. This quarrel with your brother is something to behold. Has it always been so heated? All my life we moved as one. As family. As kin. I have always known his mind, and he mine. Until this day. Time makes idiots of us all. You fought well today, Fulke. Would you fight beside me now? To wrest control of the Shire from Edwin? I will. Giedrich asked me to cripple her line of support. Would you know where she gets her rations and supplies? East of Oxenforda, south of the Lichvila. There's a place called Eton Barn where eager merchants sell to soldiers. Meet me there. I'll come soon. Sigurd, brother. You are lost in a sea storm of your own making. Edwin's defenses have been weakened, but I could do more before joining Fulke. For the good of your Shire. You've lost your senses. What's the noise about? She's trying to rob me. I warn you, soldiers are coming to escort me any minute. This merchant is taking supplies to the castle. Oil for boiling, arrows, shields, rations. I offered to buy them, but he refuses. I don't sell on a future promise of profit. Edwin's a valuable customer. Then I'll make you a new author. It's war time. I'm in no mood to barter. Walk away now or die in a ditch. You stinking Dane. Hey! Me, oh Lord. Take your last breath. We can use these oil jars to surprise the soldiers. I see visions of burning men, 
the screams of soldiers aflame. If we place the oil and supplies near the hay along the road, it will burn like hellfire when the soldiers arrive. Take position on that bluff and watch for the soldiers, would you? You'll hear me howl as the men approach. The this area is off limits. Should we hide them? Fresh kills will arouse suspicion. What was that? My howl. Prepare yourself. The soldiers are close. That overhanging branch is a good vantage for a first strike. This oil merchant said he'd be here all day. He'll show. We'll stay here what? for now. Oh. Come in. Uh. 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 
That's the last of them. Edwin will be waiting for aid that never comes. Something wrong? No. No, quite the opposite. At Sancte Albanes, your brother claimed kinship with the gods. Is it true? Is he descended from the Archon's children? The Isu? Not to be blunt, Fulke, but only half of what you say ever makes any sense to me. Forgive me. I often presume too much of my audience. Men who fear damnation, when ignorance is the greatest of all evils. Ignorance of what? What a perfect sentence. I'll ask more simply. Could your brother be descended of the gods, or could he be a god himself? How is that possible? You don't believe such a thing yourself, do you? Not elusive self-begotten light who reigns over all, but a lesser god. Imperfect and given to temptation. Sigurd is only a man, the son of a king and my brother. He may think highly of himself, but he's no god. Yet it's possible his line of kings was fathered by a god in ages past. We haven't time for these fantasies, Fulke. It's time I regroup with Giedrich to see how his assault preparations are coming along. Godspeed, Eivor. I will stay here to pray for the souls of the dead before I join you. Of arrows enough for everyone. Twenty to a man. Idrish. Eivor, have you dealt Edwin a few bruising blows? I have. She'll feel the pain soon enough. Excellent. My men are itching to attack the fortress, but we'd be fools to force it now. Why is that? On account of Edwin's got too many traps and defenses. Her springles cut us to bloody stumps before they poured boiling oil upon us like a summer tempest. Keep the men at the ready. I'll slip in alone and see what I can do about these defenses. By my joints and ankles, you're a tough one. Giedrich! None will stop us! Eivor! Giedrich! And victory! Call the line when they start cleaving healthy horses and dogs in soon. Castle Keep looks impregnable. Looks impregnable. That will be Edwin's last stand.
my eyes. are large bolt casters. I must disable them. Soon enough.
Stretch your wings sooner. Do you see?
There's more to be done, but this should be enough to launch the assault. Now it's down to Giedrich to lead his men. Say we wait. There's too much riding on this. Lord of East Mercia, and I say we fight now. You're a good man, Sigurd, and I'm thankful for all you've done. Is it done? It is. And have you laid your poles of hazel and composed your poems for this coming victory? I'm here to speak with Gietrich. Go on then. Your master of aids. Still dreaming of your precious stone? It is not dreams that led me here, Eivor. I've had visions. Prophecies from the gods. Visions? I'll sacrifice to Tyr this day. The lord of justice. The harbinger of flawless victory. Sigurd, what prophecies? Are we ready to assault the castle, Eivor? The sign's importance read well. I'll return when I've destroyed enough of Edwin's men and supplies. We'll be ready. Eivor, are you ready to begin the assault now? We are ready. Give the command. Good. And let's be quick about it. My scouts tell me a force of King Alfred's men is on the march. Let's end this before that flap-mouthed pudding has a chance to hit back.
the lofty lady. Do what you must, Thane of Dungheaps. As one loyal to her shire and her people, I know which of us God favors. Eivor bested you. It's for Eivor to decide your fate. Heal her wounds, dress her in rags, and send her out onto the heath in exile. You are banished from Mercia, without family, 
without rank, without friends to comfort you. I will walk the roads until my feet are bloody, dreaming of cutting out your rotten lungs. Take her away. I fulfilled my promise to you. I trust you'll do the same. An oath between our people. Aye, ah, you've done us well, Avo. I thank you. And if ever you need the like, I'll do what I can. I will. Count on it. I'd be quick about plundering. King Alfred will be on his way, and he won't be alone. You notice how they jump whenever someone mentions trauma? The markings of the Ancient Ones, the Isu, the gods of begat of gods. I... I've seen this somewhere. I know these words. I... One who stands at a threshold should take great care to look around. For who knows what foes lie in wait in the halls beyond. Passed through this doorway once before with Sigurd in a dream. Not once, a thousand times. A thousand. Does it say, Sigurd? Does it speak to you? Yes. But the words are... fogged, Shadowed. And yet I... I feel their meaning. And the ash tree... I see the grey tree of life. Her boughs reaching... skyward. Opening the way. It's just as you promised, Basim. All you foretold was true. Eivor, I am more than I appear to be. So much more. This is wicked magic, Sigurd. Dark Seder, do not listen. No, this is real. This is everything. To the walls! To the walls! Alfred's come! King Alfred of Wessex, marching up the rise with a mess of soldiers! Have we time to escape? The men are spent. We've not a chance in blazing hell. A parley, then. We must call a parley. I will speak, and the King of Wessex will listen. As I understand, King Alfred, your name is not spoken with affection here in Mercia. Yet I am close enough to Wessex to hear myself praised from morn till twilight. 
<laughs> Return to your singing subjects then, and leave the affairs of Mercia to the Danes. Not all your pagan war songs are safely out of hearing. Offer an exchange, Lord. Please, no secrets here. Let's end this here, my lord. Let's exchange men. My best warrior for yours to prove peace. After which you leave Mercia, and we fall back north of River Ouse. These terms are fair. Wolfrich! My war thane. You will go with Giedrich, brother. Name your man. Sigurd Jarl, I offer myself. Thank you, Basin. King Alfred, wait. Mm. Paladin Fulke, you with this company? I was, my lord. To recover from Edwin what was mine by right. Sigurd is the only man you need. He's worth more than 20 other men. He is the son of a king. Traitorous snake! And his heresies are profound, my lord. He claims to be a living god. I've got you, troll woman! Shush. I'll gift myself to you, King Alfred. Because it is not my fate to die by your hand. Brother. Have faith, for the Lord God watches over you all. This man is dangerous, my lord. Let me hold him. Do what you must, but treat him with care. Pray all the gods bless him. What was that? I will shatter them. They shall not get away. to bargain? If I slit a bullock's throat and pray for the Danes to leave? Day. Ranvi, our work is done in Oxenfordshire, but the cost has been high. I feared as much when this letter arrived, from one called Fulke, addressed to you. 
From Fulke. Gods, that witch. It is there on the table. Vulcase with the Order of the Ancients. The same order Kjotve followed. The order the Bessam and Hytham have pledged to destroy. Eivor, what has happened? Sigurd has been taken hostage, captured by King Alfred and given to a woman named Fulke. A very dangerous woman. What does she want with him? I will spare you Fulke's ramblings, but know this. Sigurd did his part to secure an alliance with a thane called Giedrich. Giedrich is an honest man and will come when I call. Until that time, Bassem will locate Fulke. Look for his message when it comes. <laughs> 